What's up, what's up, and oh snap, it's your boy Chris Keys, and I'm back for another tutorial, and this is the best channel for music creators, music producers, and entrepreneurs. That's right, guys, I'm coming with you today with the Logic Pro X tutorial, and I want to talk about delays. Should you be putting a delay on your actual track when you're using a vocal, or should you be using a bus? For your delays now either way it's not really a wrong answer but you are going to get two different sounds depending on which uh way you prefer doing it and i'm going to show you i'm going to sing and play on a particular track that i made and then i'm going to um, show you the difference between putting a delay on the track and then i'm going to show you the difference between using a bus on the track let's jump right into it guys All right, guys, I'm back and I'm in my Logic Pro session. I pulled in a track uh, just that I had um, just to play a little bit of it. You know, it's kind of an R&B type, you know, slow vibe. I wanted to do something a little bit slow so you get a chance to really hear uh, the delay effects um, that I have here. So, you know, I have the beat. So a very, very important step. Uh, first step that you need to do before doing anything is always try to find the BPM to your track. Uh, and this BPM is 82. And if you don't know how to find the BPM, uh, be sure to look at my other tutorials that I've already done and I'll show you exactly how to find the BPM in your Logic Pro session. So now that I have my uh, song pulled in my, my session, what I'm gonna do is just freestyle some stuff off the top of my head. Uh, I'm gonna add auto-tune uh, in while I sing or play you know of course i need that and i just want you guys to just uh relax as i perform for you guys live here we go press record and let's just see what we come up with i need delay we working on if i need delay whoa, whoa. yeah Need a light, yeah, yeah. Whoa, whoa. All right, that was a lot of fun. All right, guys, so we messed around with that. So I've already had some effects I already put over here, but I put everything on my track except actually the delay. Actually, I did put it on, but I'm gonna take it off here. Uh, so let me play it back. And let's just see what we come up with. I need to lay. I've been working on if I need to lay. All right. Very nice. Very nice. So I started that. So let's first. Uh, the only thing I have on here is, is a little bit of reverb and just effect. So ignore all of that. So what I'm going to start now with is the actual delay. So let's start with putting the the the. Damn, that's hard to say. The delay on the track itself so here we go let's play it back and this is just a regular logic plug-in nothing extra and let's just see what we come up with so you can see it's cool it gives a nice effect i even turned down the feedback but it, to me it gets a little washy You see, it's not bad. And you can adjust, you know, we can adjust the filters here. Uh, I could adjust the feedback. Let's play it one more time and I'm gonna do a little bit of adjusting and you can still see the difference uh, in the sound that you get. If I add, add some more feedback. So, you know, once again, it's not that bad. I mean, you can actually, you know, turn the, I was adjusting the volume here and there and, you know, trying to feel, you know, where it's not overpowered and getting too washy. Now, sometimes I do actually add delay on my track 
and I tweak it. It does take me a little bit more tweaking. But what I really, really like to do is add the, 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 the here we go again, the delay actually on a bus track. Now, what I'm going to do now is actually mute this one. And I'm going to add a bus. We're going to go to uh, open bus, which is bus two. And I'm going to actually copy this same delay and put it in on a bus. And now I'm going to show you the advantages I think that you can get of putting a delay on the bus. And you have a little bit more control. So let's turn the bus up and play back what we have. Oops, here we go. Add the delay here. So I could turn this bus up. So you can see already, I already have to turn the output mix on the bus up extremely, almost twice as high just to get the same volume, which I like. It's letting me know that I have a little bit more control. I'd rather turn the volume up than trying to squeeze and turn the volume down, you know? So let's play back and start tweaking a little bit more. So I kind of over exaggerated there at the end just so you can see. But to me, you can already hear it's just a, a smoother um, transition in, in in the vocals. You know, what I mean, I'm, it, please ignore my singing. I am definitely not the best singer, but I, I, I hear a smoother um, delay transition uh, in the back as it kind of echoes a little bit. And another trick that you can do, which I mean, I kind of do here, which I was working on the filters. Here and there, and most delays give you an option, you know, the H delay and waves and some other things. They give you the option to do a filter. But another thing, when you put it on a bus, you actually can go in and add, just like on your lead track, you can add an EQ and, and even more reverb and stuff to your delay, which gives you even more control. So let's play around with adding an EQ to my bus on the delay and, and check out the cool effects you can then get. I'm going to actually exaggerate it and turn the bus up. Uh, the, the 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 delay up just a hair a little bit more so I can you can hear exactly what I'm doing. Let me play it back. So I could take that same delay that you hear, and let's uh, tweak it and add an EQ on that. So, so if I want that EQ to be more of like a telephone squeeze effect, check it out. Pretty cool, right? And then from there, you know, you can add and take some more highs out. You know, you might want to cut all the way. You know, you might want to cut all the way to even. There you go, right there. And also, you know, these are just advanced tricks where you're just adding and building, but you can already hear the difference in more control and options and flexibility you have. And, and from that delay, you kind of want to look at that delay now as its own separate track. Well, that's how I see it. I have my lead, all of my auto tunes, you know, my compression and all that. That is now one track. So now when I'm adding in a reverb, I'll bust that in. So the reverb now has its own track. I can go in and turn the volume up and down over here on my delays because my delay is bus to its on separate track. And the disadvantage, if you put all of that stuff on one track, if somebody comes back and say, hey, can you turn my delay down? Or, you know, can you make that delay a little bit more EQ and stuff like that? Or maybe you can you take my delay and add it to a reverb or something like that? You know, just all these advanced tricks. You won't be able to do that on the actual uh, track itself. So start playing around experimenting with putting uh, your delays and possibly even your reverbs, which I show you in the description below and the link below and some more tutorials how to bust your reverbs. But start busting your delays and playing around with it and you'll be surprised with the openness and the space and your tracks won't sound so muddy when you start using delays. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Until next time, 
You know what it is. Y'all stay creative. Peace.